My name is Anita Torres, uh, originally from Grant County, Silver City in New Mexico, and uh, uh, took part in the movie of Salt of the Earth since my husband was a striker at Empire Zinc. And it's uh, amazing that as many times as this movie has been shown, there's always one tour few people that say they have never seen it, but this is the first time they see it, and they all say they like it, and they're, they'll be sure to watch it again. Well, the reason that I say they should watch it is because um, this is a struggle that uh, is still alive today. Because of that strike, the struggle didn't end. You know, it's, it's still going on. It's been very hard on the unions, you know, the unions are depleting more and more for different reasons. You know, all the automation, the way workers off, and, and then it's hard to organize more workers. And this movie, I think, is very good at showing what the union can do when we unite. It so happened that after the strike, you know, everybody was uh, burned up. Everybody was uh, tired uh, and, and wanted to uh, rest. And uh, the organizer, his real name, Clint Jinks, he was the organizer of my mill. At that time, it was uh, my mill and smelt the workers. That was a union at that time. And he uh, took a few days off. He took a vacation, and he went to the house to a guest ranch to spend a few days there, he and his wife. And it happened that he met uh, a couple from, from the Hollywood Ten. Uh, they met there, and uh, they, they started talking and Clint told them the story, told them that, that they had just gone through a strike and all of that. And this uh, Hollywood person, Paul Jericho, Paul Jer Paul Jer Jer and, and he, uh, he got into it, you know, he wanted to know more and more. And Clint suggested, well, maybe you, because that's a long ways from Taos all the way to Grant County where we were at. Taos is way up north, you know, up uh, uh, by Santa Fe, New Mexico. And so Clint suggested maybe you should come by uh, so that uh, so that you can talk to the women and all that. So he did. That's the way it started. He came and he got uh, uh, in touch with the union membership and, and talked to a lot of the women and uh, he thought that it was a good idea. So then he went back to California to, and talked to the other group, because there was a group, you know, of the, the, was it 10, the blacklist? They were 10 yes. that were blacklisted. And so they got together, talked about it, and agreed. So then they, they came down to Grand County and talked and talked. That's, that was the way it started. They decided that it was a good try, that they would like to take it and and make a movie out of it. And of course in Grant County everybody agreed. The women had a lot, a lot to say. A lot. That's why it took so long. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the women, you know, they, they, uh, everybody said what they thought. You know, and, and uh, uh, you know, the Hollywood people, the blacklist people were there and they were, they had their idea of how they were going to do it. And uh, then the women uh, either uh, objected or refused and they said no, that's, uh, they were, there were several instances where they did have to change because of the women, you know, uh, 
Like for instance, uh, they wanted the leading part of the wo women, they had thought that they were going to have a white lady take it. And uh, the workers, uh, men and women, didn't agree. They said, no, this is our story. And that we should be, uh, if we can, uh, we should take those that part. And so there, there was a lot of discussion, a lot of disagreements at times, and, and discussions and, until they came to an agreement. 